morning, guys. We are here at the car. Got to get it loaded up, and then we are heading out to go testing. Can't wait to get this thing on track. A lot of things, a lot of changes. We got to see how they go. But I just uh, appreciate y'all watching through this whole series, and time to see all those changes that we made, time to see how they react. So let's do it. Coming along, we just got the our workbench in here. Now we gotta go get some stuff to fasten it back just so the top isn't gonna flip over, doesn't fall over kind of thing. We got all the brakes on all six wheels. I doubt it'll go anywhere, but just to make sure, but things are coming along definitely in here. Pretty cool to see the progress. It's definitely looking more like a race trailer instead of a car trailer. All right, everything's loaded up. Garage is all empty, which is weird to see, but we're gonna head out now. And uh, yeah, see you guys again once we're up there. Do you remember how you held me thin? Now you've got me reaching out And do you see you got me falling in? More times than I can get out the track from our first run and for some reason I mean after throwing the kitchen sink at it it stuck so um, wasn't pushing 100% I'd probably say 90% or so but I think it's definitely gonna get better um, running a good entry and stuff it rolls the corner so much better than it did last year and you can get on it off the corner which is the difference from last year I had to really roll on it so I'm excited I'll let you guys know when we get back out there but pretty pretty sweet <laughs>
check this out guys on our last run a coil pack actually exploded on us overheated so we got to figure some stuff out because the car won't even start hey guys so it's the next morning after practice the car sitting here now so what happened if you were watching the in-car video there um my last run as we were deciding to end our run car felt great all day yesterday and then when we decided to come off uh, right before I did, I was going down the back straightaway almost flat out, and all of a sudden the motor just went dead. Um, so I shoved in the clutch, rolled off the track, and when I came to a stop, heard a loud pop, things started smoking, I got out. And so what we found was one of the coil packs on the motor heated up, blew out the side. So I got some work to do to figure out if there's any more damage, but we might just have to replace a coil pack and that could be that, or there could be a lot more. So we'll see. Here's our pretty little car sitting there, but we'll uh, dive into it here and just kind of go with the flow, see what we got. So I'll let you guys know. What I'm looking at to fix, um, I got to, uh, I'm gonna clean up this ground here, get a, probably a bigger wire for that, do that. I got some other things I gotta do. I gotta replace these coil packs up here. Um, that one's out right now because that's the one that blew up, but and new plugs too. Probably a new battery. Ours looks to be shorted, so do all that. See if I can get things figured out, but these electrical issues are just uh, not a great thing. But I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Um, I want to get this video out to you guys, so I'm going to end this here, but I appreciate everyone that's watching. I appreciate everyone that's been a huge help to me getting this thing going and helping me out get this car ready to be on track and getting it fixed right now. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, do what you want. Go hit me up on Instagram. Check me out at ericjr.racing. So I will talk to you all later. And as always, thanks for watching. All right, this is going to be a big jump in time here. But as you can see, things have been going down been tearing things apart. All wire harness is completely exposed. So what's been going on? We, uh, I drove up north about two hours. Got all new coil packs from one that detonated, new plugs, had to get all that. Got that in there, we still had issues. Uh, went through all different things, new batteries, tried to pull things out on the dash, tried looking at that. Spent all night doing it, and it's, I mean, we started on this project like 13 hours ago, 12 hours ago, trying to get things done, so. Pretty much, we got some guys up north that are racing with us uh, in this series that said they can help us figure it out, so I'm pretty much closing things up we know there's a shortage because when that popped it sent something back through all our wiring harness that either burnt something up something's not grounded properly something went wrong with connection but we'll see if we can figure it out all right well excuse the mess of my hair and everything but uh while i was making this video i realized that all the footage that we got the next day is gone so that as much as that sucks um i just wanted to explain what happened after that so after we had the issue in practice that you can see in that in car cam we spent all night we were up the the day before race day actually we were up on race day at 1 30 in the morning trying to get the car finished packed it up and that same morning three hours later at 4 30 we woke up packed things up got in the car and took off up north um got up to our buddies who took care of it for us well we well not took care of it but we all worked together to really figure out what happened and what actually ended up happening was when that coil pack popped it sent a surge right back through our wiring harness um frying our ecu hole right through it which was crazy but because of that um we had to get a new ecu we got it there at the track and we figured that out about the ecu at 10 15 in the morning on race day and the gates for the track opened at 10 o'clock that morning. So we had to get there, we hurried there, and then within 25 minutes of the first time we were supposed to be on track for qualifying, our motor fires up for the first time since our incident. So such a cool thing. It was such a great teamwork with so many people trying to help me out, and I just, I can't be more appreciative of that. And so uh, thank you to Sean Jones, Potts, uh, Brendan, Derek Presley, my grandpa, my dad, my brother, 
everybody just helping us out getting that thing going it was so cool such a great job just to get that thing back on track we got out there and in our main we actually in qualifying it started raining we spun out and in our main event we went out there and they started us on the pole but we're not sure if it was electrical issues after that or if it was just wrong gear uh, <laughs> which would be massive on my part but i really don't believe so um we ran under power for the whole race just couldn't get rpms up there and we were it was just our acceleration just wasn't there and i i wasn't sure because things were different but i'm i'm gonna put that one on me and say i was in the wrong gear um but we ran around and finished fourth in the main event which was the coolest thing in the world um that's our second best main event finish too uh third place was our best last last race before that so pretty cool but i just wanted to end this video here i kind of wrapping things up i know this isn't exactly the way people wanted me to end things but i wish i could add more footage and i wish i could have showed you guys but i can't wait to get back out there for our next race and make sure to stay tuned july 11th we're going back racing and there will be another video so be ready but anyways i am so thankful to have you guys all watching if you made it to the end of the video bless your heart i wish you all the best make sure to like subscribe comment whatever you like i in, oh, i almost instantly reply to uh, the comments on youtube so make sure to do that and then also check me out on, uh, on instagram ericjr.racing you can find me there and that's really where the majority of my content goes so go check that out but as always, thank you for watching. I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful night. Thanks.